Amolo Odinga who has sent me to come because he is a bit indisposed he could not come personally but he has uh, asked me to come and represent him and the family so I also want to uh, bring condolences of Uhuru Kenyatta the former president of Kenya his excellency who has also brought his con condolences to the family he is out of the country but he has uh, asked me to bring his condolences to the family now I would only want to mention one word after saying words of condolences and sympathies to the family I would just like to say that the, the death was an accident but even though it is an accident in this region we have had many such accidents and we have also had assassination of leaders from this region so when such things happen we are a bit suspicious not because of anything but we want to know the truth we want to know the truth and uh, I want to ask our uncle, the general's son, not to be impatient with us. It is not because of anything. It is just because once beaten, twice shy. So we are asking for no stones to be left unturned and let us know the truth of who killed our uncle, General Ogola. He was a, he died too soon and we are a bit uh, shaken by his death and uh, you know you people know we lost Tom Boyer in very tragic circumstances we lost Ohuko in very tragic circumstances and when we lost Ohuko I was part and parcel of the team of parliament which was investigating the death of Ohuko and I can tell you it was very sad because the regime at that time managed to convince the family to be very protective and not to allow people to go into details. So young man, please do, just allow investigators to do their work. <laughs> now, with those very, very few remarks, I will once again wants to wish that our uncle is uh, rested in peace in heaven and let the almighty put him in the best place and was not one of our best sons one of the best sons from this area we wish that he, the almighty puts his soul in peace and let his family also rest here and we shall be with you all the times thank you very much Ero, ero kamano. Ange onika e, wan gejo amanga mubiro. So e jomubiro ka, nitie jomoyer, mokber ka alunga alunga jomoko mukani sogi nigen ka e. O tell nigi gi speaker o kode gi members ma county assembly masia ya. Kama untie mundu chunga ni malo mundu neu Ero gen kanyo Mara reyo No kwaya ni mundo Chungi members of parliament Gingen kai To list mundu ga Oken la kai poka yodo Kora atandi meli ya keni mechengi ni kamo divi Oya ore uru joka nyanam Uru wako elu Yomuru wako elu timu nakamai 
Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander of the, of the Defense Forces, Your Excellency, the First Lady, the family of my friend Mama Eileen and your wonderful children, Joel and Lona, the Deputy President, the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Cabinet, Azimio leadership led by Her Excellency Martha Karua and, uh, and His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, and all the protocol observed, members of the clergy led by His Grace, the Archbishop uh, of the Anglican Church of Kenya. I really do not have much to say today other than to mention my colleagues who have joined us. But before I do that, Your Excellency, allow me to say that. Uh, Many of us in the political circle did not know General Ogola until the day he was made the commander of the Air Force. When the appointment was done, I remember me talking to my colleagues in parliament and asking ourselves, from where does he come from? Is he from Migori? Is he from Siaya? Because we had heard that there was also a General Ogola from the, those sides of Migori. Then I was told by my colleagues that actually he comes from your constituency. So I took the journey of finding out who General Gola was. So I, I used my contacts from here and I was given his number and I reached out to him. So when I reached out to him, we, within two days, gave me an appointment. Actually, he gave me a dinner date. And we had dinner for about four hours. Because I wanted to know, this is a very big man. We don't know him. Where has he been? So he told me that actually he has been around serving the country places some inside and outside the country.